Hi everyone. In this lecture, I mean in this video, we will learn about single phase induction motor. I mean construction and working, what are the applications are there. We will learn about all these parts in this lecture. Okay, coming to the construction, again I will start from the parts, what are the different uh, parts in the machine. So coming to the single phase induction motor, uh, when compared to the three phase induction motor, it is not self starting, please understand this point. Three phase induction motor is a self starting machine, single phase induction motor is not self starting machine, please underline this point. Okay, coming to the construction, same story like three phase induction motor, there are two parts stator and rotor, this is stator, this is rotor. So this stator consists some stampings i mean the stator core part is made up of stampings with the material silicon steel the rotor part is part is made up of aluminium these there is no winding here completely bars are there rotor bars please observe here rotor bars means aluminium bars so these uh, bars are enclosed by the end rings these are called end rings i am writing here er these are called end rings. This is also end ring. This is also end ring. So these and two end rings are uh, supporting the aluminium bars. This is the shaft part. This is shaft part. Okay. Please observe here in the stator part. In the outer outer part of the frame consists some capacitor. So this is capacitor. I will tell you later the advantage of this capacitor. Okay. So the coming to the stator part, these stator stampings, these stator stampings can uh, use to wound the windings. I mean, stator arm, stator consists of armature winding. So this armature windings wounded wounds in the stampings. I mean, slots consists here where the slots consists, the armature winding will be wounded. And coming to the rotor part, there is no winding. Completely the completely all are the aluminium bars. Okay. So the main applications of single phase induction motors are small fans, hair dryers, toys. So this machine is completely working under single phase supply. Working with the this machine is completely working with the single phase supply. Nowadays, everywhere in the home appliances or industrial domestic purposes, single phase supply or three phase supply is using. I mean, my opinion is completely AC supply is using. So instead of DC machines, we are, we studied or we learned in the first unit DC machines. So instead of DC machines, AC machines will be very comfortable in the uses of home appliances or industrial applications. So for small fans or hair dryers or for small small applications, single phase induction motor is very comfortable to use. Now coming to the working of single phase induction motor. Working of single phase induction motor, there is a stator part, rotor part, this part is called stator part and in the center one rotating uh, circular part is called rotor part. The rotor has squirrel case type rotor and stator has two poles. So we can design number of poles, stator poles, we can design as, as need as want. Okay, when single phase supply is given to the armature then alternate uh, when the alternate current flows to the armature winding then uh, alternative flux will be produced in the wind, uh, winding the air gap between stator and rotor parts is kept uniform when there is a primary winding and secondary winding so this is primary winding this is secondary winding i mean it is a transformer so this arm this part this uh, supply single phase supply part is called primary winding and the rotor part is called secondary winding. When you short circuit to the secondary winding, it is called single phase induction motor. How it is possible? I will tell you clearly. When the supply is given to the primary, the alternating current flows in the primary winding. Then alternate flux will be induced across the primary winding. This flux is linked to the secondary winding. Then secondary winding is also induces some EMF in the secondary side because of the mutual inductance principle so that it is called induction motor so there is induction principle will be applied so that it is called induction machine so 
when emf induced in the secondary winding there will be a possible to flow the current when will when will the current will flow the circuit is closed circuit so it is already short circuited so the current will passes passes to the short circuit path so when the current passes in the secondary winding there will be a alternating current so when the alternating alternating current passes through the winding then alternate flux will be produced so this primary flux and secondary flux opposes each other then it will rotates in the either direction but it needs a initial initial torque but it needs initial direction so if you want to rotate in the clockwise direction but then you need to rotate or move with your hand in the clockwise direction uh, then it is it will rotates so the rotor part needs initial torque so this is mainly drawback so that it is not a self starting machine but in three phase induction motor sorry there is a rotating magnetic field so that that is a self starting machine it is not a self starting machine so if you observe in the speed speed torque graph if you observe here speed torque graph when the speed is zero at the initial position then there is a torque also zero so if you move it is forward direction if you want to for example if you move the rotor part in forward direction then torque will be developed slowly to the high position when it attains the speed then it attains the speed it it always rotates with less than the synchronous speed synchronous speed means ns is equal to 120 f by p 120 p already you know the relation so if you for example if you rotate in the backward direction or anti clockwise direction then it will also develop the torque negative torque then it will rotate in the negative direction i mean reverse direction so like that the single phase induction motor will rotates and develops the torque by its own so if you want to rotate as a self starting machine then there are some types different starting methods those are four types i will tell you clearly in the next class the working and operation of these four starting methods but main important part is the rotation of the two fluxes the uh, the mechanical force of the rotor part is mainly depending upon the double field revolving theory i mean stator field rotor field opposes each other and it will rotate in the either direction this is all about working of single phase induction motor okay if you have any doubt please comment in the comment box thank you thank you very much Oh, 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 oh,